I'll start with saying that we still think our stock is undervalued. Mm. For a long time, we were viewed as the bank, this uh, hedge fund disguised as a bank uh, in Ortigas. So it took a while for investors to believe that we were turning into a retail bank. Over the last three to five years, we've been building our retail bank components. And in the last two years, we've been successful at scaling them up. So that is why you would see a 29% growth in the loan book in 2015, which set us up nicely for 2016. And for 2017, we are expecting a similar growth in, in the loan book as well. Well, you're looking at the, the buildup really in terms of also your return on equity up 17%. But let's look at the earnings themselves. I mean, you've got a 67% rise in net income. This chart here basically shows that. Talk to us about the segments beyond the branch buildup and the loan portfolio. Yeah, the nice thing about what we've done the last few years is that our retail loan book has grown significantly. And currently, we're actually more retail than anything. Retail earnings come up to about 60% of our net income, our net, in, our net interest margin, uh, net interest revenues, mm -hmm. I mean. Uh, while we've been growing our corporate book, what we've actually been doing is whenever we go to a corporate client, we don't serve the corporate client alone. We serve the supply chain. Corporate clients now are very, they look for efficiencies. They are much more digi digital than, than in the past. So what we've done is we offered them cash management products which link their distributors and their suppliers. Our cash management products enabled us to link the community around the corporate client. So you're looking at an ecosystem and supply chain. As a, right? as a result, we're able to give credit to the small businesses surrounding uh, our corporate base. So we, we are a bank that's doing retail banking at the same time, we're doing corporate banking because we want to be a retail bank. So extension on the, on the services. But let's look at the overall health of the banking industry. We, yeah. we saw Moody's put a stable outlook to that. But you know, you're also watching the Fed, um, given the fact that there is estimated uh, rate hikes this year. I think we have a, a percentage yes. probability here. As months go along, you're looking at uh, a higher increase. But even one um, Fed member was talking about the fact that March might be a, a good time to raise it. Having said that, have you factored it into your plans, especially with a potential BSP? taking a cue from the Fed. Yeah. One of the reasons why you wanted to do the switch was treasury businesses do not do well when interest rates start rising. That's one. So the next thing we did was we started growing our low-cost deposit business before we grew our long-term loan business. That way, even when interest rates rise, the low cost will shield us from any spread compression. You've hedged that business with, with, with we, the local We've business. hedged it early on. So as we grow our loan book, we will keep growing our low-cost deposit book. Well, you've got that base here. So let's talk about expanding that base. Um, you know, from press releases, you've had 100, your 100th branch was set up in Zamboanga City. It seems there's going to be a, a Vismin push there and some in Luzon as well. Um, you're catering to specific markets, especially with City Savings Bank. That's the other hat you wear. Yes. Talk to us about the balance here. You've got, you know, teachers, basically 600,000 teachers in, in, your, in your base. Mm. How do you balance financial inclusion in that segment, but at the same time, profitability in the bank? The... When we took over the business, the asset yields were collapsing. So the focus that we, we did when we took over City Savings Bank was on OPEX reduction. Uh, we are happy to say that we've been able to cut expenses there by half, both in the funding cost and on the operating expenses. So that enabled us to serve the customers, even reduce the loan rates a bit, while expanding our base. That so leaner organization helping you with a wiggle room for the for, the, for And a clients. big part of it was digitization because right now we don't really have credit officers anymore. Every time a loan approval is sent to us or enter into the system, it's an algorithm that says yes or no. Much of our operations in city savings has become very digitized. Okay, so lighter and leaner, but let's talk about the other partnerships here. A bank assurance partnership with the oldest and uh, largest Filipino firm, Insular Life, and then you're talking about a fair bank acquisition for the agriculture sector. Yes. How does that fit in the overall ecosystem of Union Bank? Yeah, we've, uh, while we're happy with what we've done in 2016, especially on the retail bank side, we have accepted the fact that our product suite was still incomplete. We couldn't really have a a complete conversation with the customer unless we protect his wealth. 
across generations. That is how uh, bank assurance is coming into the picture. We're not just partnering with Insular Life or Bank Assurance, we're also partnering with Lombard ODA for the private banking side for the upper part of our segment. So we're, that's completing our product suite, uh, basically. And the other thing was, while we were going down the base of the pyramid, on our way to the base of the pyramid, serving teachers and civil servants, we also do pension loans, by the way. We started, frankly, I hope it doesn't sound corny, but we started to find meaning in the things we did as bankers. So we started exploring more and we went deeper. And that was when we discovered that we could do something with microfinance. The type of skills that we have that made us successful in city savings are the type of skills that we're bringing to the microfinance business. So closer to the customer and actually bottom of the pyramid on that base. Appreciate your insights, Eugene. I look forward to hearing from you again. Thank, Thank you so much.